Angie Veg, I'm going to show you how to make an island favorite. Jamaican beef patties, but vegan. Everything's going to be irie. You cannot have a Jamaican patty without the perfect fluffy crust, right? So that's what we're going to make first. It's kind of like making like a pie crust, it's the same type of idea, but we're shoving things into it to make it a Jamaican patty. So we're going to add some flour, and then we're adding quite a bit of salt. And for color, that very iconic orange traditional Jamaican patty color, we're using turmeric. And mix that to get rid of any like lumps, also known as sifting. And then I'm going to cut in my vegan vegetable shortening, my vegan butter, until I get like crumbs. Now that we have crumbs, I am going to add some ice, ice cold water until it becomes a dough. Now moving quickly, we have to make this into a ball, wrap it up in saran wrap and toss it in the fridge for about an hour and a half minimum. So we roll it into a ball, and we're gonna cover it with saran wrap, nice and tight. Now let's toss this guy into the fridge and get started on the meat. Mm. No room in this fridge. Now I decided to make um, a traditional beef style patty instead of the vegetable patties. It's really, really hard to get a beef style Jamaican patty that's vegan. Plus, let's, let's just, Face it, it is the better tasting patty. The first thing we're going to do is heat up our vegan butter in our pan. We're going to add in our onions and our garlic and our ginger and cook that for another, I don't know, like four minutes until it's translucent. So to get this like kind of like super authentic Jamaican flavor, we're using cardamom. We have lots of cumin, all spice. Why is it all spice if it's not all the spices? Only some of the spices. Mix that up until it's fragrant. Now we're gonna add turmeric, thyme, time after time. Now we are going to add our scotch bonnet pepper. This is totally optional. If you don't like spicy food, totally just leave this out. But we love the spice. Once your spices are super, super fragrant, you can add in your fake beef. So just add that to your pan. You can totally throw some all over the stove if you want to feel like you're having a celebration. Add some vegetable broth. If you have access to like a beef-like broth, this is really, really good with a beef-like broth. I'm gonna add some vegan Worcestershire. Make sure that when you use it, it's vegan Worcestershire. They have some with anchovies and some without. And then I have pureed tomatoes. Then we have some fresh parsley. We're gonna mix that until it's combined. So we're going to let that simmer for 30 minutes. When all the liquid's reduced, we are going to add our salt, add pepper to taste, and then we are going to add about two to three tablespoons of Jamaican rum. Because you're kind of stuffing the pastries with your hands, just set it aside until it cools. So another like 30 minutes or so until it's easy for you to handle. Then we're gonna stuff our pastries. We are slowly but surely going to quickly roll this out. Now we're going to take, I'm using just like a bowl because it's the perfect width actually. I'm just gonna cut out circles using this bowl. So I'm just gonna give this like a little roll out just to make it a little bit bigger. And now I'm going to use some almond milk and paint it on the outside of half of this thing. And that's going to act like the glue that holds the two sides together. And then I'm going to take the cooled meat that we have. I would say about a quarter cup. And then we're gonna go like this and just press down the side. And then to make it look like a traditional Jamaican patty, I'm gonna use the fork. And then normally they would do an egg wash here, but I'm just going to do a little bit of almond milk. We're gonna keep doing this until we have a couple pans full of Jamaican patties. Now we're gonna put these guys into the oven at 400 for about 30 minutes. And there you have it, vegan Jamaican beef patties. Oh yeah. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. I haven't had a Jamaican beef patty since I was a kid. This is amazing. It's so good. I know James is really gonna like these. I know you guys are really going to like them. If you like this recipe, make sure you give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Let me know what other types of recipes you want me to make by leaving a comment below in the comment section. And as always, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you follow the edgy veg on Snapchat where I come up with recipes like this and I snap my like fails and, and the good stuff too. So I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Today on the Edgy Veg, I'm going to show you an awesome summer recipe. We're going to make vegan hot dogs using a very special ingredient, but it's not gonna be so special because I'm gonna tell you what it is, it's carrots. I'm gonna show you how to make a carrot into a hot dog that tastes exactly like a hot dog.